On day four of our seven night Royal Caribbean cruise, we arrived at the port of Roatan, Honduras. After an amazing breakfast on our balcony overlooking the Honduran mountains, which room service on board by the way is something we highly recommend, we were definitely ready to explore this port. Okay, we're in Honduras and we're, we got room service and we're in on our balcony. In Honduras. In Honduras. Yes, the sun is rising and it's a beautiful sight to see. The water just from our balcony looked incredible and we have a special love for beaches so we were definitely excited about this one. There were quite a few shore excursions to choose from, from zip lining to horseback riding on the beach, interactions with sloths to dune buggy rides through the jungle. But we opted for a day on the beach at Big French Key and to be honest, for the amount of time that you have there, this proved to be a really good decision. In this video, I'm going to cover what you can expect if you choose this particular shore excursion and what's included in the price. We started off the day with fresh coconuts and then we headed down to the bus area. They did cram us into these tiny buses, which was a little bit of an uncomfortable experience being so packed in. However, the bus ride did allow us to see most of the island. Our tour guide had a ton of knowledge about the island and gave us a detailed tour and covered the history, the weather and special landmarks. The ride was about 30 minutes until we reached the boat dock. You all can see why, right? Um, the one that is all yours today is Big French Key. And uh, Little French Key is actually the competition. <laughs> Are you having a good day, Sydney? Look, they're in the market. <laughs> Off to Big French Key. The boat ride took us on a calm and peaceful ride over to Big French Key and the water was just incredible. This shore excursion is about $64 for an adult and $34 per child and this was actually one of the cheaper shore excursions and it was more than what we had hoped for. They had complimentary paddle boards, kayaks, umbrellas and chairs for all of the guests to enjoy. You could also walk or swim to the Mayan replicas of the Maya Atlantis from the shore. Or, for an extra fee, you can take a guided snorkeling tour to the Coral Reef Barrier by boat. We opted to just take advantage of the complimentary activities and spent most of our time at the lagoon and on the sand. They also offered an island lunch with water and iced tea, which was really delicious. And they had a really fun piñata for the kids, and each child had fun taking turns with the bat. Yeah, get it, buddy! Yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah! Break it! Break it! Break it! Break it! Break it! Put in your 
Just around the corner, you can find the entrance of the natural reef trail that is easy for kids and takes you to some incredible views of the ocean. Right along that path, you will also find some massage beds and also some changing rooms and restrooms. All in all, this was the best shore excursion of the entire trip in our opinion and we highly recommend it. For the price, there are so many complimentary activities that you don't really have to spend any additional money to have a good time. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you as you start planning your port excursions. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them below. We would love to hear from you. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this.